Hi everyone, this is Abby from The Building for Kids, and today I'm going to show you how to do some chlorophyll painting. This is a fun activity, it includes science and art together. To do some chlorophyll painting, what you'll need to do is you will need to get some white paper, a metal spoon, some markers, and then some leaves. So what I did is I went into my yard and I took some different leaves from the different plants and trees that I have growing. So if you're going on a leaf hunt outside and you're looking for some different leaves, make sure that you don't take too many and also make sure that the leaves you're collecting are not poisonous in any way. So once you have collected all your leaves, what you do is you take your white sheet of paper and you fold it in half. Okay, then you're going to lay out a bunch of your leaves in the paper there. That one here. And then you're gonna fold the paper over, okay? So now you're gonna take your wooden, your metal spoon, make sure that you have a metal spoon and not plastic, because plastic will break. And you're gonna take your metal spoon and rub it on top of the paper on the leaves, nice and hard. So what you're doing is you're actually breaking open the leaf and then the chlorophyll comes out. And chlorophyll is that green pigment in the leaf that helps plants make their own food. So keep running over the paper with your metal spoon. You can take a peek to see if you're getting some green on your paper. Some of the leaves will release their pigment or the chlorophyll easier than others. So we're gonna take a look and see what we have here. All right, so I have a few imprints of my leaves here showing up on my paper. And actually one of the leaves that I used was basil and that one is really, that's a nice herb that smells really good. And if you crunch basil up and then rub it on your paper, you get not only good smelling paper, but you also get like a nice green pigment on there. So you can try that with some of your other leaves too. You can try rubbing them out, see, rubbing them and see if the chlorophyll comes out. Um, you could try rubbing them again. Sometimes maybe it's easier to just do one leaf at a time and try to get the pigment out. You can use the curved side of a spoon or the flat side of the spoon. There, see so that one got some more <laughs> chlorophyll out on the paper. Then when you're all done, what you can do, I did these earlier, is I did some little drawings of trees. So I took the chlorophyll on the top and then I added some trunks and things to make little trees like that to make my chlorophyll painting. So have some fun collecting leaves and painting with chlorophyll. Thanks for joining me today.